Hello there. Welcome once again. The word culture generally refers to belief systems, values and principles, customs and norms of people belonging to a group. And these behaviors are reflected in a person's everyday life. These behaviors are passed on from one generation to another and usually reflect a person's connection with his roots and ethnicity. But you must wonder, why culture matters at all? The answer is quite simple. We now live in a world which is diverse. Boundaries blur every day and learners from various backgrounds come together to learn under one roof. Like the fingers of a hand, they come in all shapes and sizes. Here's a story of an eight-year-old boy, Peter, who's recently moved from the UK. He continues to address his teacher as Mrs. Abbas, who has told him repeatedly not to address her like that, but call her ma'am. For Peter, Mrs. Abbas is just fine. For Mrs. Abbas, Peter's behavior is condescending, especially after warning Peter more than once, but this is one of case. There are many students who belong to many ethnicities. Imagine the number of conflicts that could crop up just because of the lack of cross-cultural awareness, and this is known as cross-culture conflict. Cross-cultural conflicts can occur because of multiple reasons. Culturally, some children are taught simply to observe quietly and mirror adult behavior. While in some, adults frequently talk to their children and engage in dialogue to teach them proper behavior. In yet some other cultures, children are expected to think and ask questions. Now imagine teaching a mix of these groups of children. If your method of instruction does not address these cultural aspects of their upbringing, you may incorrectly assume that these students are inattentive or even defiant when they're not. These students, on the other hand, may perceive you as being uncaring or intimidating. So how does one make a difference in the classroom? As teachers, we must invest time in understanding various cultures, backgrounds, values, principles, practices, and traditions of our students. To become culturally responsive, as teachers, we must accept and respect varied cultures and their heritage. We must communicate harmony and integration of other cultures to the students. As teachers, we should also clear student misconceptions on cultures other than their own. And then, we must align methods of instruction with the methods in which the student is taught culture outside his school. We should integrate cultural orientation as a part of the curriculum and include diverse perspectives to expand the learner's horizons. Thank <laughs> you.